What's good, homies? How y'all doing today? This episode is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, I got two things to show you guys, and I think the title and I think the title of the video will pretty much give it away. I don't know if this camera is on my face or not, but uh, I don't know if it's blurry either. Don't know what that was, but part one. Uh, let's go. Let's go explore. Cause actually, no. All right, I know where it is. So. Remember in the first, not the first, but remember if any of you homies remember my eBay fuel pump video, I couldn't get the other fuel pump to work, so I went and got the other fuel pump. As I'm talking, I'm going to walk around so you don't get bored. <laughs> so I got, you know, took out the other fuel pump, bought that cheap $20 eBay crap, you know, because I couldn't get the other one to work. Once I put the eBay pump in, uh, once I put the eBay pump in, uh, I found out, or I don't know if I found out, but I had this really, really strong feeling that I did not put, that I did not test the, like, the, like the, the appropriate wires. And I told my dad that. So in addition to that, thinking back upon that way back when, I got in contact with, with uh, Matt, the original owner, the OG owner, the S12 OG who owned you know, my S12 before I have it, and you know, before I have it now. And I asked them, was the, wa was the, was the uh, fuel pump inside the S12 a Warburl 255? And he's like, yeah, it was brand new. So the fuel pump that I actually took out and improperly tested that still works is a Warburl 255. And I was going to get one because I'm like, dang, I need a fuel pump. And ain't that something like brand? This is brand new. Look at this. Like, besides that being, that's not even like as yellow as a fuel filter can get. Wall bro, two fifty five right here in my hands. That works. And I was just testing it wrong, or I was hard wiring it wrong. So that oh man, I'm still gonna test it to make sure it works because I don't know the other owner could have freaking worked it. But this crap is brand new, and I know for a fact that it works because I have a strong feeling that I didn't test this properly because I was a noob. Still am, but I'm a better noob now. So I have a Warburl 255 now, or I've been had one, just didn't realize it until today. And I also JB welded my, a, a blow-off valve. That 4G63 clips, uh, I didn't pick it up yet. They still have it for me at the yard. Uh, they're just going to keep it there because I don't have a truck. <laughs> but yeah, I JB welded the e the 4G63 stock blow-off valve. Look at that. Look at that. It's dope. It's dope. Like, like, no flex zone. <laughs> no flex zone at all. I'm gonna start this and it sounds like psh all the time. It's awesome. I love it. It just messes with my idle because uh, it's pulling a lot of vac. My vac's really good. So, you know, it's open at idle. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be because my cousin's open at idle. You know, that's why the idle, you'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. All right. Flick it a switch. It idles funny now because, you know, it's not, all the metered air is not inside the engine. So, like. Well, let's see if you can hear the push. You know what I'm talking about? And my cousin's car does the same exact thing. And, and the reason that it's doing that is because with the vac, it's, it's closing. I'll show you. It's actually pretty, it's actually pretty like science-y. I like it actually. I was staring at it for a good 10 minutes in like awe. But yeah, look. It's open. Let me see if I can get you guys up. Now you see how it moves? And it's going to 
gonna, it is gonna like, it's like a balance, it's like balancing itself. But like... JB Weld, yo! Go to your local junkyard and get your clip, and I put it right into the radiator. So this is a blow-off valve. This is a, this is a, you know, not a radiator. This is an intercooler, intercooler with a freaking integrated blow-off valve, and it works like it works perfect. It works perfect. I don't know if you could, if like if you guys heard that. Let's do it again, cause you guys probably want to hear it. you guys think you might think I'm crazy I might get a lot of hate for this but hey that crap works awesome it is dope I drove it I gotta get better mounts so I can like start doing like driving videos but yeah so I got that popping literally it's dope I love it it sounds really really dope from inside the car under load you know building you know more than like two pounds of boost and you know the freaking Walbro 255 that I took out that still works that I tested wrong. So I have a Walbro. So you know I would like I'm I'm like in the oh and by the way I got that job I got that new job yo paying 13 an hour full time 50 hours a week popping my cousin's freaking popping my dad's popping he needs to get it more popping but it's popping. Man, it's a good day. It's a really good day. Cousin's putting in freaking work, yo. For real. And I've been practicing on Tuner Pro. I made a 370cc tune for the KA24DE stock math. Timing retarded everything, injector and everything, all that latency and all that stuff. You know, I modified all by math and the equations that I found on the internet. Like actual math equations, like not like, not like uh, you put it in and it converts it, like real math. You know, I'm kind of good at math, a little bit, not really, but if you went to school, I'm pretty sure you know how to do math. So, I'm going to make a 550cc tune to the uh, Z32 map where I'm going to try to put on a chip and see if it works. My cousin said he's down to try it because he can just take his chip out, and if it doesn't work, he just takes the chip out, put the the, the pop and chip back in and that's pretty much it no but I can't wait like my chain. I might need some more oil. No, chain's alright. There it goes, doing that bullshit. figure that out. I gotta fix that. Figure out, maybe I can like raise the idle a little bit. I don't know. Probably, but that's it. Nothing's wrong, it's just new stuff 
new problems. So, like and subscribe, home skillets. Let me know if you like this video. And have a poppin' behind day. Stop doing that, man.